Hello. Again. Uh, I hope we learned a lot from Roger. I did. I did. And um, I'd just like to say that um, Roger said, you know, if you can provide a perspective that is missing from a publication, especially if it's a truth that you have lived, do it. Especially if you're not going to be doing anything anyway, if you're going to be Netflixing away your time, sleeping, you might as well add to the narrative and uh, move the story forward. Maybe everything is not about money, especially if it's a truth that you have lived and um, you want to get your perspective out there. Maybe. I, I will be doing that. You might see me in your meal soon, but maybe. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'd just like to welcome Mohammed again to close the workshop. A round of applause. You are all still awake, right? This is where I come up with my motivational speech, right? So before you go, please don't go because Juita and the team wants to get a picture with all of you. So please don't leave. We also want to make sure you all join the collective because we want to continue helping you. We want to continue to make sure that these workshops are paying off. When I say paying off, where's Khaled? Khaled? <laughs> Khaled? <laughs> I didn't mean pay, OK? So we do need to make sure that we are connected. Because here's the next thing. No change can happen unless you make it happen. And no change in your life is going to come because somebody gave it to you. You heard Mohammed Faki this morning living in a basement, working like he did. Now, I don't think it'd be nice if each one of us could have the success story that Mohammed did. That's awesome. But you're already a success story because you're here. And you have a dream, and you have an ambition, and you have the desire that you want your voice to be heard, your perspective to be shared. Do it. And if it means that you're putting yourself out there, if it means that maybe you're not, Khaled, close your ears, please. You're not getting paid for this first few times. You know what? Take a chance because you've got something to offer and if you don't want to write for the mainstream well that's why we've got the collective because we'll help you so you'll get good enough to write for the mainstream but there's also power in that voice and you know when i came to canada 43 years ago it was a very different landscape i really felt other than the work is not done today but when you look around you here there's no other country in the world that allows us to be who we are in the way that we are and that's incredible, you know, but our work is not done and you can help that. And it's not about, again, it's not us versus them. It's like Muhammad said this morning, it's about all of us. So this isn't about looking at mainstream. This isn't about here looking at, you know, different people from different communities, ethnicities, whatever, and saying they. It's just about, you know, we're here. So speak up and your voice will be heard and don't take permission. Don't wait for somebody to give you that permission. Write, speak, get out there. There's, you know, and, and I think we didn't mention this earlier. Media today is not just about the written word. It's not ink anymore. The landscape is really changing. Video, social media, and, and there's such an opportunity. I got into speaking not because I went and I took classes, but because I started making videos and posting them. And so you'd be surprised what you can do with create a blog. I was speaking with somebody yesterday, and she created a blog for Give Back. And I, what is it? Give uh, It'll come to me. But she started just by taking her son out and doing one good thing every day. It translated into going to schools and 5,000 children at the schools were now giving back daily for 300. So yeah, give back 365, give 365. I think that's the movement, right? And now she, you know, she, she's doing this movement across the world. There are people in Uganda, people in Kenya who, who are listening to her and, and starting this giving back. So you can make a difference. Get yourself that platform and start making that difference. So please don't walk out of here today feeling deflated or demotivated. Know that you've come and you've taken that first step. How many of you feel that you've got one takeaway from today? Okay, we're really hoping that you can go and just say, I've learned one thing and I can put it into practice. But I hope that you learned much. I know that listening to you, Roger, listening to uh, uh, Nicholas earlier, listening to Yaldas, I learned so much today and it's always about learning. So I'm not going to keep you much longer. I am going to tell you that there are still more food. Please don't leave without taking uh, some food with you. Um, the other thing is please 
your loudest round of applause for the incredible team at Seneca at the back, Tim and his group, okay? Incredible, incredible what you guys have done. And just before you go, we'd love to get a picture. So why don't we take the group photo? Okay, what's, what's that? You are, yeah, you heard, you heard of Monopoly? Yeah, I, have you heard of Monopoly? Okay, so we're gonna get your picture. It's three o'clock, you get to choose, <laughs> okay? So it is the magazine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a picture, and then uh, if you wanted to stay around for the next half hour, right, uh, please stick around, and if you've got questions, I know Roger will still be around, Jaita will be around, I've got a train to catch soon, but I, I'll still be around. Also, you all have the collective email, right? So it's collective at ncm, newcanadianmedia.ca, okay? And please ask questions. We want you to join. We want you to, to, you know, push the needle a little further, right? Okay, so thank you very much. Round of applause for all the great work today and for you. And should we take our picture? So should we all come up here?